Amber, what's this? Oh, what is it? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Should I get a fear? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he gone again? Amber, is he gone again? Is he gone again? Amber. everyone, it's Saturday morning, just been having a little play with my cat and I'm just going to finish off from Kringle, as you can see this is the last chunk I've got left, of White Pumpkin. This is really really nice, this is actually more of a slightly woody scent than the other pumpkin one I had and I've just finishing off burning or melting Village Candle Apple Pumpkin downstairs. Kinky! Saturday morning I've got up and I've just done some wax pictures because um, I want to start melting some of my Halloween wax boxes obviously I've got the videos going up towards Halloween but I want to start melting them but I couldn't hadn't done any pictures of the boxes all the stuff I've got so I just did a few pictures they're not probably the best but at least I've done them so now what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the rest of the day is editing 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 i've got a lot of videos i need to get through need to get a move on and yeah i mean i might i was going to do some videos this morning but i kind of decided against it because i was kind of repeating myself and videos i've already done that makes sense so i'm going to be doing once i've melted all the wax the halloween box i'll be doing reviews of each box and what else I can't blink and remember, but yeah, that's, I was thinking of doing a Halloween wax haul, however, or it's going to just be the wax, it's going to be the same waxes that was in the wax boxes I received, so, I don't know, I kind of decided against it. Um, I'm also probably going to do an X Factor video, maybe regarding Honey G, you need to do a little bit of investigating, there's a lot of stuff which doesn't surprise me at all, saying that they think she's a fake. <gasps> shock horror i mean come on it's all marketing for the program isn't it of course i don't think i think she's fake obviously i mean if you see pictures from her before she looks like some kind of middle class lady and then she's dressed up look like, like a female like ali g i mean come on come on really really so we're also going to catch up on x on the beach i do love that it's proper car crash tv but i love car crash tv oh i tell you another one of my favorite shows is the rb for weekender i really hope the rb for weekender comes back i absolutely love that show and i love it when jordan's in it because i think he just i don't know i think he's so funny in that show i didn't like him as much in x on the beach but i'll be for kenda because it's more pg rating i think it suited him better but anyway as you can see i'm still in my pajamas um oh my pretty little wax box didn't turn up today so I've emailed Lou to see if she, you know, if I've got a tracking number I can look for because she said she was going to send me a box. So anyway, um, but yeah, so I'm going to get changed out of my PJs. I've got my band, no, my thumper PJs on. I'm going to get changed out of those into my onesie. I'm being a complete way netter today. So here I am now changed into my onesie. I love my sheep onesie. I really, really love it. This one's so comfy. I love it though. There was a little hole in it and I had to sew it up, but we'll forget about that. But um, yeah, I really, really love this onesie. So I'm going to get myself a coffee and I can do one of a syrup. And I saw some coffee syrups actually in TK Maxx, which were sugar free. So like calorie free, supposedly calorie free. <laughs> so I'm thinking of getting some of those. I might go down tomorrow. I need to go to Primarni. Need to get some more trousers. I don't have any trousers. I only have jeans, really. So a couple of... No, I don't even have a couple of pairs. I've got leggings. But I will need some just trousers. But I'm a jeans... I'm a stretchy jeans kind of person. I love the jeans in Dorothy Perkins. I think they're in a range in Eden or something. They're like the, you know, skinny jean, um, stretchy ones. Fab. I've got them in green, dark blue, medium blue, grey. Has no, I think I might have them in another colour. No, no, I've got them in four colours. They're absolutely fab. Love those. So comfortable. And they last a while as well, so a really good deal. But um, yes, yeah, so I need to get on, have something to eat, have some biscuits, I think. And I didn't eat all that pizza last night, so it's going to be another pizza day. Okay, so I've just done myself an amaretto latte using the Sweet Bird amaretto syrup. It's really, really nice. And going to have some of my favourite biscuits. Wow. Yes, Kiki. Wow. Oh, dear. Whiz, whiz. You've got a sore eye. In the sun, hmm? You look so lovely though, Wiz. You have a little sleepy. 
Okay, so I'm just about to start melting in my bath from Heavenly Scents and um, Bite Me. Probably going to use half or a quarter of it because it smells quite strong. And i just got to decide on what to melt on downstairs. Oh, and here's what this wax melt looks like without the um, lid on. There's some glitter on there. Sorry, this is just a background I used to do a few pictures for Instagram. I should do more. I'm not the best. But yeah, so it's got some nice little glitter on there. Okay, so I've just brought my Heavenly Scents wax melt to melt upstairs because my burner downstairs is finished and I both started burning at the same time. My Kringle candle's still going, so as soon as that's finished, I'll put that on. And it does smell nice, actually. Different to the sort of scent I'd usually, you know, burn. If I knows me, loves, I know a super duper sweet bakery scent. So I'm going to burn that first of all in the bathroom as it's smaller. And then if I think my downstairs can take it, because my downstairs room is very large and it's quite airy so there's a lot of space for the smell to you know run away so i'll take i'll sort of burn it downstairs as well but i like to sort of burn it in the bathroom because i could smell the scent a bit clearer and if it's not going to smell it's not going to smell if that makes sense so it doesn't i mean i'd rather do it down in the bathroom first so i can actually pick up more on what the different sort of notes in that are so anyway that's what i'm going to do i might start melting my goose burning my boost boost goose Creek pumpkin pie, as it is, you know, all Halloween -y time, we're coming up to that time, so I might burn that because I really want to get it burnt and finished by Halloween time. But also, I don't like to burn Goose Creek candles and my melts at the same time, unless I want, I mean, because Goose Creek candles are super strong. So I'm going to melt downstairs Heavenly Scent Dragon's Blood. This smells, this is a really, really good scent for Halloween. It smells kind of herbally with patchouli with musk in there. So I'm going to try half first and see how we go. Pizza time. This is just a pizza left over from yesterday. Hi everyone, the time's around about quarter past one in the morning, so I'm going to, you know, say goodnight to you all really, really soon after having a quick chat with you. So sorry I've been MIA, but I've been editing videos and I've done about nine, nine videos. Ah, oh, tons. So anyway, I know I look super duper rough, but oh well, such is life. Um, tomorrow we've got to take Wizzy to the vet because he's a little unwell, so we've got his eyes a bit runny and stuff. Amber's a lot better though, we're still keeping an eye on her because I'm not sure she's 100% better, but she's like, come on leaps and bounds. So at least that's something, isn't it? She's so much better than she was. Um, what else, what else? I've got to carry on. I think we're just gonna to go to the harvester tomorrow for something to eat um, for tea, because we've got one quite locally, and we know it's not oat cuisine or nothing like that. But I don't mind the little harvester where we are. You know, it's really, really reasonably priced. We get loads of um, money off deals there. Though I don't think we've got one for tomorrow, but we get a lot of time 33% off and stuff, and I love their eyes cream so we're going to probably do that tomorrow as long as it's not going to rain then monday i need to do a grocery shop because we haven't gone in a couple of weeks so i need to get some bits and pieces I'm not going to go mad but i need to get a few bits and pieces and i also need to maybe on monday we'll see what happens i need to um go and what do i need to do i need to go to primarily or somewhere to get some like more smartest trousers because i've only got jeans so i need to do that and yeah a few more things might be meeting up with some old work friends on thursday evening for something to eat but not too sure yet we will see that she's coming down more my way so that's good because normally it's always as it's in london i always have to go up there but one of the girls might be coming down near me and the other girl lives near me anyway so that's quite good so anyway i'm going to stop rambling and you know i hope you've all had a lovely saturday evening oh what did you think of the x factor I have to say, I think it's the biggest pile of rubbish. It's an absolute joke. But I mean, it's funny. I don't take it seriously. I don't know why people are taking it seriously when you've got acts like Honey G. I mean, come on, it's just a laugh. It is just a laugh. I think Sharon Osbourne is brilliant. But I do think, I don't know, I think they should leave like alcohol on the table and her and Nicole just get absolutely rat 